Shaolin Kung Fu is an ancient and esteemed art, one of the largest and oldest styles of Kung Fu or Wushu in the world. <laughs> Masters of Shaolin are among some of the most unstoppable fighters the world has ever known. No one can beat a Shaolin master, and here is why. Number 15. Why no one can beat a Shaolin master. Education. Shaolin monks are just built differently, with their childhood being full of endurance training and brutal body exercises which can be fatal to an untrained person who is trying to mimic them. In modern society, kids usually spend their days running around aimlessly while eating junk food, whereas Shaolin monks spend their early years wrapping their bodies around tree trunks and stretching themselves in precarious positions to achieve a level of dexterity and flexibility which is similar to that of Mr. Fantastic. I I mean, their early training is pretty ridiculous, with bizarre techniques, such as beating their necks with sticks. I'm not sure how that would help with fighting, but their early hand-to-hand -hand combat training makes them a real problem in a fight. Regular Western kids brag about doing the monkey bars or a cartwheel, whereas future Shaolin masters can do these tricks in their sleep with ease. There really are levels to this. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Strict Diet Trying to wake and get a regular kid up at 5 a.m. would be an impossible task, but this is just one daily component of the Shaolin monk's strict lifestyle. Other habits which lead to the Shaolin master's childhoods being pointed towards success later in life is the vegetarian diet they strictly stick to. Centered around Buddhist ideals like purity and simplicity, the monks consume a traditional diet of rice, vegetables, and fruits, which are all found inside the grounds of the temple. Some modern kids would turn their nose up at the sight of a plate filled with this diet, with many crying out for pizza and chicken nuggets. But if you're eating such a pure diet stripped back of many additives and sugars, then you're bound to be in the finest shape of them all when you mix in a routine of strenuous exercise that is equivalent to an Olympic athlete. Needless to say, it's becoming more and more clear why Shaolin masters who live a life of sticking to this routine are unbeatable by most. Number 13. Fearlessness Shaolin masters are taught from a young age to overcome fear and how not to let it hold you back, which is obviously a dangerous tool to have in your mental arsenal. Just overcoming fear is a lot easier said than done, of course, with this state of harmony only being achieved after years of meditation and spiritual action. One person who embodies this overcoming of fear is Master Dejian. Master Dejian lives at the Songshan Monastery, found at the peak of Shaoxi Mountain in China's Hinan province. Found 1,512 meters above sea level, Master Dejian chooses the precarious location of the edge of a sheer precipice to practice his martial arts. With the constant fear of death only being a slight blip or error away, Master Dejian must remain in a state of absolute concentration if he's gonna remain unharmed. Through dispelling all feelings of fear and anxiety, Dejian remains as strong and stable as a rock, both mentally and physically. I guess that's a lot easier when you don't have smartphones or tablets at hand with countless social media apps to distract you. Still, imagine having that level of concentration when studying, or lack of fear when in the heat of a fight. Number 12. Raising their body temperature with their mind. This might sound like a ridiculous lie, but monks can actually raise their body temperature with just the power of their mind. Before you call the claim false, a Harvard study even verified it and confirmed that Tibetan monks really can raise their body temperature with their minds. If Harvard says so, then it must be true. The otherworldly ability is carried out by individuals known as Jitomo meditators, who have the mind-blowing ability to dry wet sheets that are wrapped around 
their cold, naked bodies. Sounds like something you would hear take place on an animal show. While this skill is certainly one to brag about, only a few people actually possess this rare skill. With only a handful of monasteries in the Chinese provinces of Qinhai and Sichuan practicing this particular type of meditation. But how do they achieve this almost superpower? Magic? Well, not quite. Dr. Benson, the Director Emeritus of the Benson Henry Institute and Mind Body Medicine Professor of Medicine, Harvard Medical School, carried out this experiment in the 1980s. 40 degrees Fahrenheit wrapping themselves in wet sheets. This clever crew determined that finger and toe temperatures were increased due to vasodilation, which is basically the widening of the blood vessels to reduce blood pressure. Wow, it just shows how powerful the mind is. Wish I could raise my body temperature with the power of the mind. It would save me an absolute fortune on my heating bill. Number 11, Iron Head. If you saw someone beat themselves up, you would probably ask if they were okay or call the emergency services. But for Shaolin monks, this is a regular part of life which allows them to become the unstoppable force they grow into. Shaolin monks regularly beat their bodies up to develop their internal force and chi. Such punishment includes beating their skulls against stone walls, branches, and hitting themselves with their bare hands. While this might sound stupid, there is a method to the madness. Shaolin students wrap their heads with layers of soft fabric and begin to hit it against anything and everything with the sole aim of increasing their skull's durability. This daily routine steadily in increases in power to avoid any unwanted brain injury. Over time, this routine eventually starts to harden the top of the head, the forehead, and the back of the head, as well as strengthening the skin, muscles, and bones. Every 100 days, three layers of fabric are removed from the skull, with the monk eventually having their skull transformed from a skull of bone into a cinder block. Imagine trying to headbutt a guy who's literally been beating himself up on the regular their whole life. Life. Number 10. Throwing Needles Through Glass If you haven't already gotten the impression that you probably can't beat a Shaolin master, then maybe the fact that they can throw needles through sheets of glass will convince you of their superhuman capabilities. By throwing a regular needle at a near-perfect 90-degree angle to the glass, the monk can make it smash through the sheet of glass as if it's magic. After a lot of practice, dedication, and refinement, this skill would certainly be a nasty trick to play in a fight. The needle clearly makes its way through the glass, with the inclusion of a balloon on the other side of the glass to highlight this penetration and add a bit of theatrics to the videos online. So just make sure that a Shaolin master doesn't have a box of needles nearby when you make the already foolish decision to fight one of these superhuman-like people. Maybe just avoid getting on their bad side altogether, actually. Also, it would probably be smart to not challenge a Shaolin monk to a game of darts, as something tells me they'd be pretty damn good at it. Number 9. Diamond Finger Shaolin masters train every part of their body, and I mean every part. As well as toughening their skulls and minds, they also train their fingers. Through devastatingly brutal daily techniques, Shaolin masters can train their fingers to be as strong as tree branches. Some of these techniques are pretty unconventional, to say the least. This includes daily punching of your finger through a piece of wood using nothing more than sheer will. Known as the diamond finger, other elements of this wild routine include the pulling of rusty nails out of wood and even the destruction of stones just by striking one with a finger. The results are clear to see, with the Shaolin masters being able to show off such abilities as striking their opponent with a single titanium-like finger with terrifying results. And even even them standing on just one outstretched finger as the rest of their bodies held in the air. Truly mind-boggling stuff. Imagine facing a Shaolin master in a classic game of Thumb War. That would not last long at all. Number 8. Walking on Water 
You might think that only Jesus walks on water, but you better broaden that group to include Shaolin Masters. That's right, in a form of training known as Jin Shen Shu, or Skill of Light Body, these brilliant individuals look to master the extremely hard technique of balance and being effortlessly light on your feet. The training begins with a student walking around the rim of a huge bowl of water for hours upon hours every day. They must do this while holding a bowl which is filled more and more every month from the water inside the huge bowl below. This task continues until the acclaimed day where there is no water left in the bowl below. If you thought that was it, then you are gravely mistaken, as next, they move on to walking around a wicker basket which is full of iron chips and continue the same routine. Shaolin Testaments claim that men of 110 pounds can stand on tree branches like butterflies or bees, thanks to this intense training. So the next time you're out of your local park, keep an eye out for Shaolin Masters lurking on the trees above. When it comes to walking on water, we have to wonder, is it an optional skill or are you always stuck being able to do it? If it's the latter, that would sure make swimming tricky. Number 7. Superhuman Strength Shaolin Masters are pretty incredible people with unbelievable muscles making them terrifyingly strong and a nightmare to beat in a fight. This strength isn't just a god-given gift, however, with the Shaolin Masters practicing a certain type of Buddhism called Chan Buddhism to achieve this devastating power. Chan Buddhism uses hard physical labor to the point that the monk is completely exhausted and thereby in the right frame of mind to achieve enlightenment, which is the ability to free their mind from the physical pain. Using certain meditation techniques, Shaolin masters and monks draw upon great internal strength, with this power being said to be so great that a monk can hang themselves from the neck without choking to death. I'm not sure they'd be one to test that claim in a hurry. Number 6. Iron Crotch if you're still somehow searching for a reason to not pick a fight with a Shaolin master, then maybe the fact that they can train their crotch to be iron-like will convince you to stay clear. I told you they trained every part of their body. While the crotch is usually the most effective place to hit, with a kick to the crotch being enough to make someone recoil just at the thought of it, Shaolin masters have found a way to make this region as strong as any other on their body. Men Dan Gong, also known as the skill of a golden cicada, is commonly referred to as Iron Crotch, and for good reason too. Their training for this incredible ability isn't exactly for everyone, however. Starting off with the clearing of their mind of all lustful thoughts, and the mental preparation and acceptance of the pain which is coming their way is key. But the next part gets weird. After spending a while flicking their own scrotum to reduce sensitivity and to harden the scrotum, the Shaolin Master then moves on to kicks and punches to the Crown Jewel region. It sounds intense, but it doesn't stop there. Monks also pull weights across fields just by tying them to their scrotum as a way to achieve this otherworldly pain endurance threshold. Not sure all that training is worth it, in my opinion, but if you're gonna fight a Shaolin monk, then kicking them in the balls would probably just end with you hurting your foot more than them being inflicted with pain. Number 5. Iron Shirt If you're trying to beat somebody, then you probably wouldn't want to hear that they have literally been training their body for a countless number of years to withstand strikes with objects of all sizes and sharpness. That's the case with Shaolin monks who use the iron shirt technique to equip themselves with the ability to defend themselves against heavy blows through mobilizing their chi inner energy and directing its strength to the spot being hit. But how do you train yourself to harbor this iron shirt practice? Well, it certainly isn't for the faint-hearted. Some of the techniques are downright ridiculous, with the sleeping on a bed of nails and the routine hitting of their body in a bid to toughen them up just being the tip of the iceberg. The result is the ability, for example, to be able to be held up high and be balanced on the sharp ends of multiple spears as they dig into the monk's flesh without so much as a grimace. It sounds gruesome. But now, imagine trying to hurt somebody in a fight who has literally trained their body to withstand pain. You would certainly not be a favorite in that scrap. Number 4. 
The Iron Bull Technique If you haven't gotten the impression that Shaolin Masters and monks have some pretty extreme practices under their belt, then you clearly haven't been paying attention. To add to this list of ridiculously tough techniques is the Iron Bull Technique which is just as brutal as the rest of them on this list. This particular exercise consists of training the stomach area. While the personal trainer at your local gym might recommend stomach crunches and sit-ups to strengthen your stomach region, Shaolin masters have a different idea. At first, the monk scrapes their own stomach with their fingers, palms, and eventually blades on their stomach's flesh. <coughs> Once there has been evidence of significant skin hardening, the monks then proceed to receive blows from their fellow monks. If you thought that was it, you are seriously mistaken. After hitting the poor person's stomach with wooden hammers, the mob then goes on to use iron ones. The hardest of the hard monks advance to the knocking the bell, which is basically getting hit with a full-on battering ram to the stomach. At what point does it just become abuse? After all that training, you would expect great results and they are allegedly there, with monks claiming that they can receive full-on punches, kicks, slashes, and even stabbings to the stomach without any damage being received. Wowzers. Number 3. Expanding Awareness Shaolin masters aren't just really durable and strong, they can also increase the power of their vision just by the power of their mind and a bit of practice in utilizing their chi. Some chien is the name for this complex training of the eyes, which causes the person practicing the technique to expand their field of vision considerably, meaning any sneak attacks on a Shaolin master are unlikely to go down well for the assailant. After diligent training, they can use their eyes to see in an arc of at least 180 degrees, basically allowing them to almost have eyes on the back of their heads. Through training to defocus their vision, the practitioner can pick up on the slightest movement very quickly and also see colors a lot more vividly. Sounds unbelievable, but they also claim to be able to project chi directly through their eyes with extreme intensity. While this might sound like shooting lasers from the eyes like Cyclops from X-Men, they say that it is an innate ability that most people have. When you lock eyes with somebody and you feel the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, this is apparently chi being directed your way from their eyes. Like anything, if you want to develop the skill, then you must practice for a long time with hard work and dedication. Number 2. Speed and Agility Shaolin masters are particularly fast and agile, with their grounding in Kung Fu being the source for this energy. The basic exercises and routines of Kung Fu are an effective way of improving the pliability of the joints and the suppleness of the back legs. This foundation allows them to generate tremendous energy when jumping and changing from one dynamic stance to another. The majestic movement of the human body as it executes a Kung Fu routine perfectly is almost poetic. As well as being a physical exercise, Kung Fu is also great at harboring mental strength and making it one with the physical body. The result is a Shaolin master which is both mentally and physically devastating in their offense and defense, who's certainly someone you would much rather be an ally than an enemy. Number 1. Pain Threshold Probably the Shaolin monk's most devastating weapon is their pain threshold, which has grown through their rigorous training of the mind and body. Through years of meditation and mental and physical practice, the word pain means nothing to a Shaolin master. Every day of their lives since they first enter the monastery at as young as three, the Shaolin monks' lives are riddled with the training of the Chan, the mental, and the Chuan, the physical, through mastering the Qi energy. This superhuman-like endurance endurance and pain threshold is kick-started by the monk's use of Qi Gong. Uh, 
Qigong is a special method of breathing which uses the lower abdomen to incredibly transform their body into hardened armor and to assist in warding off injury. Through methods of breathing and mental calmness, Shaolin masters can dispel emotional as well as physical injury, making their mind just as sharp as their violent techniques. They say that fighting is a mental game, so going up against someone who is elite in both departments will have you waving a white flag of surrender in no time. If that hasn't convinced you that Shaolin Masters are unbeatable, then nothing will. Which interesting aspect of a Shaolin monk's life was your favorite? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.